Hey everybody, my name is Tisha. And I'm Mitra. And today we are doing our first Q&A. As you can see, we are on FaceTime doing it. Um, First thing I need you to do, I need you to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well. And the link will be in the bio on to where you can find her YouTube channel, okay? So, first thing first, let's dive into these questions. Let's go. Um, am I enjoying single, the single life? Um, yeah, in a way, and sometimes no, cause it gets boring. Um, I honestly think that, you know, it can be a good thing to enjoy a single life cause you can, you know, actually date around, like talk to different people, communicate with different people under, you know, to, to figure out what you actually want. Like, you know, but after being single for a long time, you kind of like want to, you know, start talking to somebody cause it'd be boring. I feel like it's, it, it gets boring at a point. That, that's how I feel. What do you okay. think? Well, for me, it's a little bit different, you know, having kids. So, um, like, for me, I'm enjoying single life because I like my space. I like my time. I like being able to go when I want to go. However, you know, I would like to come home to somebody where, you know, I can share responsibilities, you know, when it comes to cooking or attending to the kids, like, you know, in that regards, like, I would like to have somebody, you know, come home and talk about our date, you know, so, <sighs> I'm happy in single life, but I'm also ready to go ahead and step over to sell it out. Thanks. And then we get older, too, so. Yeah, man. <laughs> late, right. late in the game. <laughs> For real, though. All right. Um, question number two. What we got? Are you content with being single? Am I content with being single? Um no that's 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 another thing no i i'm not content with being single like you know some people get stuck in that by them being single so long they just get to the point where they just like nah i'm not dating i'm gonna just stay single whatever um but no i actually want to have a relationship you know but i'm not content but at the same time i'm not gonna jump into a relationship with anybody that just say oh i like you i want to be with you or whatever because you know i'm not gonna settle just to say i'm in a relationship you know um i i know what i want like i've been in past relationships where it's like okay stuff didn't happen and it's like okay i know for a fact next time this can't happen i got you know you you look at certain things to know what you want now so now nah, i'm not content i do want a relationship but i'm not settling so Mm -hmm. I do want to be in a relationship, but at the same time, I got to remember, you know, my standards and, you know, as far as, like, my kids are concerned, like, I have to know that you are the right person to Thanks. bring into my life. Thanks. Um, so, I'm not content. Like, you know, yes, I want to move forward, but however, I'm not in a rush either. I'm not rushing to say, oh, first person that come talk to me, up, uh, yep, you the one. Right. You know, it's, it, it takes time, it's patience, it's key when, it's, when, when you're dating, so... I definitely recommend, you know, taking it step by step. Don't try to rush into something because you don't know what you're rushing into. Hey. So, day yep. by day. Yep. Question number three, what we got? All right, so after being single for so long, how do you jump back out there without me? Yeah, okay, so this, one, this question here is it's, it's a tough question, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, what I would first say is, for one, don't think that you're jumping back out there. We're not jumping back into anything. We're taking the steps we need to take in order for us to get back into the dating team. So first things first is it's just a process, man. Like you got, you have to first start by, um, you know, developing trust, forgiving your past, like learning how to not bring those past issues into something that you're moving into because, you know, when you bring the past to the future, what you expect to happen? The future going to eventually become your past as well. So Thanks. you can't, you know, move on until you kind of, forget forgive what took place previously so like that's the first step mm -hmm. the second step is when you get into the dating scene man you you gotta establish some a friendship first Thanks. like you can't say oh okay i'm ready to start dating and boom the first person you meet okay that's my old man no like you you gotta start with let's get to know each other you're not gonna know everything about that person but you're gonna know enough to say okay am i willing to take the next step am i willing to move from a friendship to the dating game right. and then from the dating game to the you know we're gonna make it official and then from the official to the 
let's get married. You know who Jack it is? Don't be in the thing. So, <laughs> let's get married. Hey, we ain't got to Question number four. What we got? All right. So, how do you get past the friendship stage? How do you get past the friendship stage? Hmm. All right. So, how to move past the friendship stage? First things first. Well, with His link will be in description as well because he's Thanks. a YouTuber. with what you just said or whatever like i don't really have too much more to uh, add to that but i do like what you said when you say you know you said you said in the beginning because i used to always feel as though 
um if i say it because most guys in louisiana you know i'm from louisiana um most guys down here they're a different breed from other guys you know so it's like if you was to bring that up in the beginning of what do you want what do you want in when when you first start talking to somebody like you know they be feeling as though you didn't ask them to they for their hand in marriage at that point in time but it that's not what you actually asking you just saying what where do you see yourself in the next few years like or uh, in the next few months like are you trying to talk to me to be my friend? Are you trying to smash? Are you trying to like cuff me on some stuff where we gonna be in a relationship? Like, so if you get that, um, that information from them in the beginning, I feel like you'll have a better way of knowing which direction you gonna go in with that specific person. Because if you if, if they say, oh, we gonna be, um, uh, I'm just looking for friends right now, then that that's like okay, well, basically. He not a relationship person. He's a person who just want to be friends with somebody. And then if he, if he be one of them people that he's saying he want to be friends, but then at the same time he trying to smash with that Netflix and chill stuff. Um, on that level, I feel like you know you could be like nah, cause guess what? If you give it to him, he gonna just keep being your friend with benefits or whatever, and it would never get to the relationship. And you knowing that you want a relationship, and he he don't. That'll be like a conflict because at the end, you're going to be in the car feelings. He going to like you, but at the same time, dudes are manipulative to the point where they'll, they'll be like, oh, I like you too. And then years have been passed by and y'all still in the friendship state. That's dead. Like, you know, so cut that off then or whatever. But if it's a guy that know what he want and he say, oh, I, I look forward to being in a relationship with somebody soon or whatever. You know, so right now when I'm dating somebody, I'm trying to get to know them to get to that next level. Or whatever. If they, if that's a person who know what they want, then hey, that's a good catch right there. So yeah, right. you know. Well, remember, y'all still think though, because we gonna have some fellas just gonna lie to you. Like they gonna say they want, they wanna uh date for marriage. Thanks. Nah, man. But when you see them red flags, believe them red flags. Right, believe it. Like, believe don't, it. Don't, and don't speak on listen. it. Speak on it too. Don't, don't yeah, tell them like say you know this is what you told me you wanted, but from the way things are going, this is what this is what I pick up on. That's why I'm going to fall back. Like, ain't nothing wrong with falling back. They don't make you scared. It's, it's basically telling them, okay, she ain't got time for the games. You know, like, she she holding up to her standards. Like, ain't no games right here. We, we, we play PS4. <laughs> we yeah, we play PS4. If you want to hit me up in 2K, like, what up? Okay. Same thing. Now we reached out to our friend. His channel gonna be dropped in the description, so make sure y'all go subscribe. All right. This what he said. Okay, this is words. Now if you want subscribe and message him, go <laughs> <laughs> we'll comment on this video and be like, "Look, I seen you in that Q and A. Now what, what up?" females we tend to like we'll stop when we'll stop talking to the person we'll ponder on that for about a week or two mm -hmm. and months before we actually really over the person but we'll ponder on the same thing of like why we not together like why we couldn't talk about this why we couldn't do that and then before you jump with another guy you you really be on some stuff like I don't even want to be bothered with nobody else until I get my mind right or whatever. Like, we try to look at ourselves to see what we did in that situation. When, when sometimes we not even the ones that's wrong. It be the guys that's wrong, but we still have that thought in our head of, like, what we did to deserve that or whatever. So, we tend to, like, 
not move on so quick to go to the next guy because we trying to still figure out process what happened in the last relationship so but with dudes the next day they could be chilling with the girl and the same week going out to eat with the girl walking everywhere with them taking pictures and everything else and it's like dude what you been talking to her like where does it come from like you know but it'd be like they they tend to move on quicker because they trying to deal with that or whatever, and they not dealing with it like how we deal with it. We deal with it and just shut everybody out. But when they deal with it, they actually messing with buku other females, or they messing with that one female. They are gonna keep their mind off of what happened, or whatever. One thing, so one thing he did say, I forgot to mention though. He said they move like you know, like the game of chess. Everything is a chess move. So they can be doing all that with the females, taking her out to eat, taking pictures, doing this, doing that. But it's really only for show and tell. Facts. You know, he, he doing all that so that. So you can see it, and that's gonna make you even. That's gonna make you hurt even more. Cause then, you know when things like that happen, then you know us as women, we start being insecure. Like, damn, what she got that I don't have? Right, you know? right. And it's not always the case. You know, sometimes it's just them wanting to do what they want to do to make you jealous. But like, like we said in the beginning, man, you got to hold your ground, keep your standards high. Okay. You got to know that you know you are beautiful, you are strong, you and all these, all these qualities that you have, ain't nobody else got that. Okay. So you, you mean you know, don't take it to the heart. Just you know, just to show this off and keep it moving. Like you fall, you get up, and you keep going. All right, so let's see. Question number six. So next question will: When should be the right time to initiate the conversation regarding what you are looking for? Okay. Now we touched on that one. Answer this already. Right. We talked about the friendship thing. You know, you need to initiate that question from the get go. Don't you know, start talking to somebody and wait six months in and be like, well, dang, he ain't, he ain't said nothing about me, you know, making me his old lady. He ain't. Man, That's he six ain't months him. gone, bro. Like, a dude should know that he wants you within a few months. Like, it shouldn't even know. Right. Like, it shouldn't even be six months we talking every day and you still ain't make a move. Right. Cut that. Cut that. It ain't nothing to cut. It ain't nothing to cut. Ain't the love you ain't trying to figure out nothing, man. Cause you should have been figuring that out a couple months ago, you heard me? Like just from talking to me every day. Like dude said, dude said it should take one like literally it should take one or two months. After that second month, you should know whether or not you want to continue on to the date stage. Like after month two or maybe month three, like we should be crossing over to all right, you know, we're gonna take it a little step further, you know, and be like, at this point we finna cut all our holes off. Like cut all the extras off, it's gonna be me and you. Right. Like if he ain't trying to do that, don't waste your time, man. You gonna you gonna be dating yourself for the longest around him. Hmm. For real though, and then you gonna find yourself in the in the pickle, and he gonna be talking to Shirley, Curly, Sue, and and Jerry, and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> and and you gonna be like, well, I thought we was it, and it's like. Like, dude, come on, man. Don't play with me like that. Don't play on my top ear, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's just the beginning, right? Right. So, Next question. question number six. We on seven, girl. Oh, seven. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How would you... I'm going to let you answer this one. Can we feel the same on this one? How would you classify quality time? Quality time. Quality time. Not quick trips. Quality time. <laughs> quality time is not, oh, babe, what you doing? I'm about to come over, over there. here. And he laying your bed. He just smashed and then he leave. That ain't QT. That ain't quality time, little baby. That ain't quality time, baby. Let me tell you what quality time is. Quality time is you coming over here. All right. That mean come over here early. Not don't come here at twelve o'clock at night, cause you know what time it is. And I'm trying to go to sleep. And I'm trying to go to sleep. You hear me? So quality time is when you come here at a reasonable time. You know, you come here, you put your phone down. Don't touch your phone. I'm not gonna touch mine. You come over here. We can watch a movie together. We can go. 
chill on the balcony, talk, you know, go take a little walk in the park, go play ball or something. Like, you know, I play ball, you know, or whatever you like to do, you know. Just go and y'all go to the movies or wherever, wherever you like to enjoy your, you know, having fun at or whatever, like just fun times. But when you go, you not, you don't have no phone, ain't no phone. Leave your phones in the car. Like, you know, it's going to be there when you come back, you know? So just don't worry about, don't like, you know, that's quality time. Because you actually still learning this person or whatever. Y'all can actually have a conversation and talk to each other. But quality time ain't when you come, when he come over, you and your phone on social media, he and his phone on social media, y'all not talking. He just laying there, you laying there. Y'all got the TV rolling, but nobody watching TV. And then it's, oh, all right, yeah, I'm about to go ahead on and go to whatever. Like, no, that's not quality time. And another thing is, like, a quality time can be a short period of time as well. Like, if a person say they tired, they had to go to work, or they have something else they got to do, like, you just, the guy just stopping by for, like, 10 minutes just to come see you, that's quality time or whatever. Like, when you go out there to talk to him for that 10 minutes, he ain't got his phone out, he talking to you, you give him a hug, kiss, whatever, with the woo, and he going about his business. That's quality, that's considered to be quality time as well. It don't have to be the whole day or... Uh, the whole weekend or nothing like that like it could just be a short amount of time that's considered to be quality time quality time people quality time undivided attention like we can't have no quality time then every time your phone will be like hold on hello yeah yeah dog i'm gonna be over there and i'm gonna be over there in a few put minutes that, put that phone on do not disturb facts Thanks. And then it's gonna be a problem. Your dude call you and you say, Yeah, I'm about to be over there in about 10 minutes. No, dude, you ain't about to be over there in about no 10 minutes, nothing, because you came over here with me. Thanks. What you mean? You about to go. No, you ain't about to go. You come over here to see me. So, therefore, ain't none of that. Ain't none of that. No. So, put your phone up. Don't have your phone. Don't even bring your phone in the house. How about that? Kiss me outside. Right. Okay. Question number eight. Last one. Last one. Unless you like, comment, and subscribe, we'll be there for two. Right. All right. Like, comment, subscribe for part two. Part two is very juicy. We got more it's questions. It's juicy, man. Juicy. juicy. Like That's the real questions. Yeah. That's the real questions. This last question right here, only the beginning. So just just stick around. Just stick around for part two, though. Just stick around. Man, yeah. I don't even know how to start the answer question. Man, that question. What are some ways you can tell Ooh. if someone is interested in being more than just friends? Okay, here we go. You, Boom, how, example. how about you tell them? How about you tell them how they how how you know if they interested, and I'm gonna tell them how how you know if they not interested. Big, all right. So cool. big, big. Facts. I've been wanting one of them. I ain't never got it. Hello.
And the only thing he say is, oh, um, what you doing later? And, and you tell him what you doing, and then he be like, oh, well, I'm going to come over later. Okay, why every time, if you see a re repetition in him saying, oh, I'm going to come over later, then shh. And he don't never come during the day, then that's another problem. Right. Then, then, then the second thing, And he don't ask you what you doing? What 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 you want me to say? What you in the, doing what? In the conversation, dude. Okay. Conversation is key, man. If dude can't have no conversation with you, communication is key, whether you're single, whether you're dating, whether you're married, okay. whether you're going through a divorce, communication is key. If y'all don't have that communication, well, what what y'all talking for? Why we so talking? Like to know whether or not he's really interested in you, baby, he's gonna go above and beyond. He's gonna do whatever it takes to make sure he have your attention and can't nobody else get their attention. Thanks. He may come get your car and say, Let me go wash it for you. Like, oh, okay, we finna go out to eat, but you know what? I'm gonna take you to your favorite restaurant. I ain't gonna take you over here to wash it. Facts. Big facts. Ain't you no Chick fil A to eat. And then when y'all go out on dates, you know how it, it, it ain't no problem with, you know, that's part two. I ain't gonna tell you. Yeah, they're gonna get part two. They gotta get part two. Y'all gonna have to like, comment, and subscribe for part two. If y'all want a part two with us, part two better be juicy, man. Part two gonna be lit. That's the real one. That's the real one. That's the real part two of the single life. What kind of man you want? Ooh. What kind of job he got? Ooh. <laughs> man, we ain't gonna get y'all all of that, but just just stay tuned. Y'all gotta stay tuned. Another thing, cause some men be feeling like, oh, they can't give you, they can't give you a certain amount of what you really want in the relationship, and mm -hmm. but they expect it from the woman though. They feel as though the girl should be putting more effort in than they should, and it's like I'm not gonna put more effort in if I feel like you're not really feeling me like that. Why would I give you a hundred percent and we not in a relationship? Like, I'm not going to give you 100% and then you not giving it back. And then I'm giving you my all and then you like, oh, no, we not going to be together. Like, you know, I don't, I'm just chilling or whatever. Like, dude, but you want me to do that. But then when I ask it back from you, it's the, oh, no, no, we just friends, whatever. whatever. But you want me to give you 100%. I feel like if you you and that person both intertwine with each other and y'all both interested in each other, it should be 50-50. If we going to do stuff... Leading us into a relationship, I feel like we should do certain things that can lead up to a relationship. How could you say you're gonna be with somebody if you don't know how they live? How you gonna be with somebody if y'all never go out with each other? Y'all never went nowhere. The only thing y'all do, he'll come chill with you every now and again, but the most he do is text you or FaceTime you or whatever. But how would you know if that's the person for you? If y'all don't really go out, like y'all don't go to to out to eat all the time and sit down and just really have real conversations. Like, how you gonna know if that's the person you wanna be with? So therefore, you have to put some type of effort in to show that person if you really wanna take it to the next step. Like, you gotta do that. And I'm not saying go buy her a whole bunch of stuff or you go buy him a whole bunch of stuff. 50-50, y'all need to be, you need to be asking him to go somewhere, he need to be asking you to go somewhere sometimes, you know? Take a trip or whatever as a friend. And sometimes it ain't always about going somewhere. It could be a simple, you know what, babe? Let's 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 cook dinner together today. Thanks. Like it it, it could be the simple things. You know, everybody don't have that 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 that, 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 that
when they financially stand, we can say we can always go out to eat. Right. But I'm pretty sure you got food in the house that y'all can prepare. I'm you can sure cook. Y'all can get up Saturday, y'all can get up Saturday morning and fix breakfast together, then clean the kitchen together, and clean your house up together. Like y'all do things as a couple, where y'all can still keep it that spark in your relationship. Like, Big facts. Man, y'all gotta go to part two. Part two, man. Don't tell them about that. How you know they're not interested, though. Oh, all right. So, when a female not interested in a man, you would know, all right? Us females, we like talking. That, that's one thing we like doing. We like to talk. We like to text. We like to be in our phones all day. You know, we like to be up under people all day. So, it's kind of like, if a girl not feeling a guy is... You gon' know based off of the way she ticks. If she don't take you back quick enough, she ain't really rock, rocking with you. If she really like you, oh, she gonna text back like this. Like, you gonna get that instant reply. She gonna even wait on the side of the phone and wait for your reply, boy. I'm telling you. Um, If it's, um like, FaceTime call. You, call, you constantly call on FaceTime, she don't answer. She not interested. Because we like FaceTime calls. So if you f call us on FaceTime, that's something like, sure, we hurry up and trying to answer the phone. We're going to get cute. We're going to answer the phone so we can see them. So we can see them. We ain't seeing them in person so we can see them on the phone. So if she not answering your FaceTime calls, she not really interested. If she takes you for a couple of days and then go missing for a few days and then she start talking to you again, she not really interested in you on the another level like she's only like if she, and then, then when she reach out back to you that means she's cool with you she she like you as a friend but she don't like you no more than just being friends because if she likes you more than that she'll talk to you every day no matter what right you know but some females we we tend to like not want to lead dudes on like we could sit there and be the coolest people you know the coolest person ever and you would talk to that person every day and then they'll get used to talking to you every day and they'll want to keep talking to you. But if you're not really interested, you got to learn how to pull back and like take yourself out of the equation. They might be cool, but you know, deep down, I'm not going, I don't want to be in a relationship with him, but he might be talking about being in a relationship or something and you not entertaining it. So it's kind of like, take yourself away from it, come back to it and just talk to them regular. And if they still on that same stuff, then I think maybe you might need to make that, have that conversation and tell them, like, look, I ain't looking to be in a relationship. I just want to be cool with you. That's fine, too. Especially if you feel like that person is very, very a very cool person, like, you might want to tell them, you know, just, I'm not, I don't want to be in a relationship. I'm just, I just, I'm just cooling or whatever. And that that's perfectly fine. But, you know, females, oh, trust me, you would know because they're not going to talk to you. But... If we really like you, oh, we're going to talk to you every day. We're going to be there. We're going to make it our business. We're going to make it a point every day. When you text, oh, we're going to answer. We're going to reply to you real quick. Phone calls, we're going to answer quick. Ain't no missing no phone call. And then if she missed the call and she don't ever call back, that means she don't like you. I'm telling you, she ain't, she don't like you. Don't listen to what she say when you call her days later and she finally answer. Don't listen to what she saying. I'm telling you, we don't like you like that. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Right. You a person ain't never too busy to get to know somebody. So never. If when they when they really like you, they gonna make time for it. They gonna make time to get to know you. They gonna make time, you know, to have that conversation, whether it's via text, whether it's via FaceTime, whether it's in person. Yep. When you really like somebody, you make time for that person. It's just like you run your own business. You gotta right. make time to run that business. It's the same thing relationship. You gotta make time for that relationship. And they only gonna make time if they feel it. Thanks. They ain't feeling you, they finna be like, Send us some questions.